our Savior. Behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. O come, let us adore him. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. be with you. you. Let us pray. O God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we who have known the mystery of that light on earth may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you in the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns, One God in glory everlasting. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder for the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. You have broken as one the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. A reading from the St. Paul's letter to Titus. 
for the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impity and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, he it, he it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all inequity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee 
to Judea, to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, They made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and heard as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Please be seated. You are so tired. It has been a long day. You have been chasing errant sheep all over the hillsides. As the day turns softly over into night, because your flock feels better that way, you have walked them up to the highest fields. They are safest there, and you can see what is coming from a long distance. Sheep don't really sleep, it turns out. They nap standing up. You cannot sleep either. The life of a shepherd is not always hard, but it isn't always easy. It is usually the youngest boy doing this work, and so you are. You find a hollowed-out rock, smooth from years of other shepherds half-reclining, their eyes on the hills, the skies, the stars. You are alert, but relaxed. This is the life you know, the life you live, day in and day out. But suddenly, there is a presence before you, neither shepherd nor sheep. You have never seen one, but still, you know. This is an angel shining with a light which makes you throw your hand up to shield your eyes. You clutch the closest sheep, already leaning against you and anxiously bleating. You thread your fingers through the fleece and hang on. At once your heart is both leaping out of your chest and refusing to beat. Wait, he, she, do angels even have a gender? Is speaking. 
Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Even before you can understand what was just said, there are more of them. They are not singing, at least as people sing, but that is the closest thing you can relate to the sound you are hearing. There must be hundreds of them. It feels like standing between the harp and the one playing it. The air around you is vibrating with the sound and it passes through you. You are part of this song now and forever. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. You are not in charge, but where they go, the sheep go, and where the sheep go, you do as well. You move quickly now toward the glow that is the city of David. The Lord has sent you. You must not tarry. You are the youngest, so you know lambs, but not human babies. Still, you remind yourself that this is not just any baby. This is the Messiah. You are so excited you were almost running. But if you did, you would outpace the sheep. You slow to a swift trot. There are people everywhere. Surprisingly, no one is really pushing. There is a holy silence, and everyone looks, and then makes a place for those toward the back. This baby is for you, but not just for you. This child is for all. You find yourself, after a slow shuffle, in the front row. There is the manger that thing animals usually eat out of. And there is the baby. The quiet glow seems greater than the lights, but you do not think about that now. His mother is quiet, her hand near the baby's head. She looks tired but so very happy. Mary, you heard the crowd whisper. Her name is Mary. And then, that tall fellow must be Joseph. You think he seems protective, but also thoughtful. The animals circle the scene like a fence of their own. This is our stable, they seem to say our manger, but you are welcome. No one speaks. The air is so thick, as though the echoes of that hillside song are still surrounding you. It is time for you to let others see now, and you slowly back away, your eyes focused on the family. The baby sleeps, but his mother raises her head, and looks at you, another of God's children. You feel her gaze surround you as a blanket would feel drifting around your shoulders. She then returns her gaze to her son. The shepherds are noisy as you return to the hillside, but you feel that invisible, holy comforter remaining around you. You know without a doubt that this moment is one you will always remember. You sense that it may shape your life, but you are not sure what that will mean. You just know that this song and this soft glow of new love have been woven into your soul. You find your favorite place in the rock and settle in, looking up at the night sky. It will be morning soon. A small sheep 
who knows you best, comes to nestle in for warmth. You stroke the softly tangled curls. Is it a lamb you just left? The lamb of God? He was so vulnerable, so innocent. How will he lead? You have heard this night's story since you were almost as young as that baby. It is just as the prophet Isaiah said, but now come true. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. You look up at the slowly fading stars and the deep spaces between them, and you find yourself praying. With warm tears, you do not yet understand, running down your cold cheeks. What will it mean for you to know and tell and live this story. Let us stand and affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people of Form 3. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for your own needs and those of others. 
If you are at home and watching on Facebook or YouTube, we invite you to put your petitions and thanksgivings into the chat. Hasten, O Father, the coming of your kingdom, and grant that we, your servants, who now live by faith, may with joy behold your Son at his coming in glorious majesty, even Jesus Christ, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. We are so glad the congregation may be seated. You may be seated at home as well, but I hope you have your candles at the ready for Silent Night in a little bit. I hope also that you have your wafers. We will be including the prayer for spiritual communion in case that didn't work out for you or you chose not to do it. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God.
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you gave Jesus Christ, your only Son, to be born for us, who, by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit, was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread and when he had given thanks to you he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said take eat this is my body which is given for you do this for the remembrance of me After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country, where with the Virgin Mary and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For those of you at home who are not taking communion tonight, this prayer is for you and includes you in our Eucharist. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. And I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. These are the gifts of God. We are the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 The body of Christ, the bread of heaven.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with the spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with joy and peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.
Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you.